Hello, my friends. I appreciate you taking the time in the midst of summer to give attention to attention. And uh, I was looking at my notes uh, a little bit before we started, and I had written down a little while ago that uh, the loop of awareness is are the windshield wipers of attention. And I really like, cause we're in, in where I live, we're in bug season, uh, which is really good. Cause it lets us know we still have insects uh, and uh, the windshield wipers uh, really clear the field. And just the simple act of shifting your attention really cleans off and, and opens the field for your attention. So as we're beginning today, I'd like you to just simply give some attention to you and then let your attention focus on somebody, maybe somebody on the call that you haven't seen before and just letting your attention go to them and then gently back to you and let yourself do that a few times, you know, at your own pace, which is another aspect of attention. And then just notice, do you feel any refreshment? Do you notice anything different about the way you're using your attention? So that just that very simple thing of uh, a reset or a cleaning uh, so that your perception becomes more open. I think that's one of the main benefits of practicing the loop of awareness. And as you do that, one of the things I wanted to share today and have you play with are what you carry on your attention. Because we, we have talked about the difference between pay attention and giving your attention. So you could do a little review of that also. So you could pay attention out there and notice how you gather yourself when you're paying attention and then pay attention to yourself do that a couple of times and then just notice what's the experience of that like in your body. And then let yourself give attention. And notice the, the difference of giving attention out and then giving attention to you. Notice where your attention might go And as I'm just doing that simple, you know, doing this along with you, I notice an expansion, a kind of a horizontal expansion of my perception so that I'm not, you know, I'm not narrowing, you know, I'm not tightening myself. I'm more relaxing into, hmm, what's going on here? My curiosity comes up. And that leads me into that our attention carries our intention. And so uh, I, when I was a kid, I always knew what kind of attention was coming at me by the tone of my mother's voice. So it wasn't her actual attention. It was what came the intention that came with it. And so most of us, I think, have an intention when we're giving attention to ourselves, uh, that it's slightly or a lot critical. So I'd like you to notice when you're giving attention to you, what, what intention does that carry? That's a lot of in and on, and on but the, your intention, ha, huh, often when I would give attention to myself, it would be to improve me. You know, to look at what's wrong, can't go out the door without paying attention to the random hairs and so forth. Uh, and when you give, when you're attending out, there's very often the intention to be vigilant, to look at who's going to get you, you know, where the danger is. And that's important. But if that's your main intention, if that's your underlying intention, you're going to see potholes everywhere. So I'd like to have you notice, what would you guess is your major intention that you use when you're looking, when you're giving attention or when you're paying attention? 
I would guess that it is some version of negative because that's kind of the default of our mind as well. Our brain is really wired to look for what's wrong first. So what I wanted to invite you to do today is to choose some new intentions that you practice in this upcoming week and notice how it changes your interactions uh, and your ability to move more smoothly and in a more friendly way through the world. So one intention that you can cultivate, you don't have to wait for it to land on you, is to simply get curious. And I use the hmm that some of you may know about and some of you not. So the, the hmm through a whole out breath, let yourself just play with that a little bit. The hmm, hmm. When I do that, I can feel everything smoothing. Ah, oh, I feel more of my out breath. So let the hmm follow your attention as you turn outward and then let the hmm carry your intention of curiosity inward. I notice also when I'm doing that, that I land more. So when I'm not being curious, I'm kind of zigzagging back and forth and, you know, I get a little adrenalized, but when I'm humming, I land, it's kind of like on a soft trampoline or on one of those little bouncy balls that my attention just lands in a softer way. So let yourself notice what happens when you add a hmm. Like I find that I notice colors more when I'm looking outward, when I have a hmm. So what shows up for you when you're creating a hmm that didn't show up before? Hmm. So the curiosity is one really um, valuable and easy uh, practice that you can add to simply shifting your attention. And uh, another is to be appreciating and not just in, you know, looking for what's right, but giving your sensitive awareness because very often what is going on for other people and you may have edges, there may be emotions there, there may be a lot of stuff that other people didn't, don't know that's been going on for you. But when you give your attention with that sensitive awareness, especially looking at other people as their own evolving works of art and experiencing you as an evolving work of art, let yourself practice shifting your attention with that intention of experiencing the world as a work of art, experiencing you as a work of art, and letting yourself notice the little nuances. So when I'm practicing this, I find that I make deeper connections, even though I may not say anything to other people, as I'm moving around in the world with this intention of sensitive awareness. I had three people the other day when I was going into the grocery store just to get some vegetables. I had three people I didn't know turn toward me and say something very, you know, like, you know, uh, there was a, a recognition, hello, and uh, I, I, which had not happened before. So I think, oh, this is working. <laughs> it's actually working. This is not just something I've made up. It's, <laughs> well, it is something I've made up, but it's working. <laughs> so letting yourself be available to connect. So available to have other people give you attention. I think this is a, an incredibly volatile time right now where there's lots of unexpected things happen, lots of things going sideways. So how are you with the whoopsies and the, that are going on and usually you can't see for other people? 
But if you give that appreciative attention, for me, I experience it when people do that with me, it is really like it's a gentle touch. And I do feel contacted by that. So letting yourself actually also, because I'm noticing some of you are, are, I think, trying to do this all in your brain, let your body uh, respond to what you're doing here so that it's not work, it's trying on something with your whole body. So how can you let your whole body get curious? How can you let your whole body get appreciative? That is just giving sensitive awareness. So if you're, if you're going around the corner and you see something that you haven't seen before, there's a kind of curiosity, but there may also be a, you know, I don't know what's going on here. There may be a little bit of fear. So if you add in just a little bit of letting your body open, doing oozing, wiggling, or you know, love scoops with that, then you're opening up the possibility for your whole body to receive, for your whole body to be part of the dance of life rather than just your head, you know, because that's the, this is the main relationship that most people have. And if you let yourself open up to having that relationship with others, I find it a great source of nourishment. I genuinely feel as if I've had something delicious that my whole body is receiving. And it's a nourishment that we can give to ourselves and we can give to others. The other thing I wanted to share with you before we end today is whether any of you would like a particular kind of attention for you, if you would like, um, you know, any kind of, you want appreciation, or you'd like to feel held, uh, or you'd like to feel uh, a sense of people really giving you attention that you can receive, let us know if, and just write that in the chat, because we can practice that giving and receiving. So I'm seeing acceptance coming through. Yeah, that's a beautiful one. And what I find with acceptance is that I both am willing to accept and I also don't want to accept. When I've got something really challenging, you know, I'm willing to accept it and I am not willing to accept it. So letting that be part of so you're not making yourself accept. You can also accept that you're not willing to accept it right now. So let your body just play with that for a little bit of accepting. Oh, I'm seeing love here. So love, I practically is to be in the same space with. And so if Though the person who wanted love, would you wiggle your hand so that we can give thank you? Okay, so letting yourself be with Nancy and then being fully with you. And then being with Nancy, one of the, um, our Kurt Vonnegut uh, um, phrases that we've used before his harmonoids in one of his books is one person says i'm here here i am and the other say i'm so glad so that's uh, for me another form of loving is so uh nancy let yourself we can't hear you or you can unmute yourself and say here i am and we can say i'm so glad here i am uh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I'm right. so and again, glad. Uh, thank you. Here I am. Okay. And I'm so glad. Oh, let I'm yourself so glad. I'm so glad. A new kind of here I am. Let yourself be here in a in a another kind of a way. Here I am. <laughs> Here I am. All right. I'm so glad. So glad. I'm so glad. <laughs> now let's all, you know, that's all. Here I am. 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 Here I am.
And I'm so glad. I'm so glad. So for me, that's my shorthander. And I come back to that and I find it just so wonderful. And if you feel shy to say it out loud, you can be saying it inside yourself. So you can be, I'm so glad is a wonderful intention for your attention. Mm -hmm. All right. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you. So, yes, thank you. And uh, so now I'm going to pull up our Presence Connect play. <clears throat> oh, I love this one. <clears throat> so Presence is notice and follow what your body most wants to do. So that's a great way for us to end. So just give some attention and notice what your body wants to do right now. And just go ahead and follow that, whatever that is for you. And it can involve sounds or racing around or lying down on the floor, whatever your body wants to do. Because <clears throat> often we won't give our bodies attention until they shape up. Like, I'm going to give you attention once you've lost 10 pounds. So otherwise, shut up. So if you give attention to your body, <clears throat> what your body most wants to do, then just pause for a moment and notice if you've created more presence for yourself. This is a gateway to presence. Yeah, so periodically through the day, I just, I just say, oh, what's my body want to do right now? And often that will open up, especially if I'm like in the midst of something I'm trying to figure out or respond to, just letting my body do what it wants to do opens up more space for presence and then for both problem solving, but also for creative projects. So if any of you are involved in big creative or little creative projects right now, periodically letting your body, just noticing what your body wants to do, that's a loop of awareness towards yourself. And then that allows you to be more present in the world and connect is yes and add appreciation. So what we mean by yes is receiving the communication. So most often when people are communicating, there's a little barrier of before the just, oh yes, that's what you're experiencing, that's what's going on. There's a little editing that goes on. So if you let yourself just receive, yes, oh, yes. It's a kind of, yes, I hear you. And then adding your sensitive awareness to that. Adding your sense of that light touch so that you're receiving the communication and connecting. And then play is let your attention fan out and then focus like a laser. That's a loop of awareness, Ben. So Letting your attention fan out. I like, if I'm practicing, I like to let my body do that too, so that I'm fanning out and then focusing and fanning out. And you might focus on somebody on the call that you don't know and just giving them your sensitive awareness and then fanning out and then focusing. This is actually something that I use when I'm driving. So I fan out my attention because often, you know, the unexpected is going to come from the periphery. So I fan out and then I'm focusing, you know, where I'm going and fanning. So that is another form of loop of awareness that I find incredibly practical and useful, uh, particularly when I'm out in the world and particularly when I'm in my car. So that's our... Presence Connect play for today. And thank you all for being here. And I um, am wishing your uh, summer continue to be flowing and flourishing. And I'm going to go ahead and take my leave right now. And please stay and have big talk and little talk and body talk. And I'll see you next time. Mwah. Yeah.